trying to help some of the relief efforts ensure a uh, DFW and Austin guy? Yeah, man. So, um, you know, obviously it was, you know, it's a, it's a funny backstory about how that came about, but for me personally, um, you know, I'm a deal, I'm a, from the DFW area, you know, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a native and, you know, I'm not there right now. I, I don't really know what it feels like to, you know, be under the tutelage. You know, I feel like, um, the power being out, um, nobody have people having to boil water, um, people not having, you know, having to sleep in, you know, what it was like in the, in the single digits in their households and what's not, I, I can never imagine what that's like, you know, and I'm blessed and fortunate enough to have, you know, my family members taken care of, but it just kind of hit home to me because those are, you know, those are my people, you know, those are people that are going through a lot. You know, I've, I've, I've you know, I spent a lot of time in San Antonio, you know, I was went to the university of Texas down in Austin. You know, I, I have a lot of family in Houston. So I know people are going through a lot and I was going to do whatever I could to help, you know, financially is obviously the only way I can make a contribution at this point. Um, you know, I wish I could block the weather. Can't do it. So I'll do what I'll do. What is it that you guys are doing exactly? You mentioned there's a backstory briefly. What is it? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll get into this. Uh, so um, I had a, I, you know, I had a subpar game, I guess, uh, I guess the Chicago Bulls a couple games ago in the overtime period. I didn't play my best, you know, missed a lot of, you know, easy shots for me and a fan, you know, uh, and since I've been in the league, you know, I've had a lot of people talk their fair share of, you know, of crap. We'll, we'll put that, we'll talk their fair share of crap at me, you know, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I have never seen anybody have the audacity to talk mess through Venmo like a, a financial app. So that was ridiculous to me. I, I was hilarious. So he then mowed me once. He requested $100 from our overtime performance against the Bulls. I, I ignored it. I was like, all right, whatever. This is funny, but whatever. He then mowed me a second time. I was like, who is this guy? Whatever. Then mowed me a third time. And that kind of did it for me. He says, you know what? I'll, I'll play along a little bit. So I then mowed him a penny, a single penny. I said, here's a penny for your thoughts, right? I thought we was going to debt it at that, whatever. He took that and took that to social media and said, I don't appreciate you uh, Venmoing me, Venmoing me back from my, from my original uh, mess talking or something, you know, he, word however you want to, it was hilarious. So I just simply quoted and said, listen, don't, don't dish it out if you can't take it. And that started to blow up. And on my Venmo account, it went public after that because it was posted and normally it was private. People started Venmoing me pennies, you know, penny for your thought. Here's my two cents. People started Venmoing me two cents. All those pennies, two cents in a matter of three or four hours added up to $230, just like that. It's a lot of pennies. I was like, that's a lot of people that just got behind this. So, you know, me and my guy at home said, man, we can really make this into something and take advantage of this. So, you know, I quoted and I said, I'm going to match any donations. And man, overnight, I'm already at, let's see here. I'm already at 10000 no, $12,235. And that's just in an hour. And I'm gonna match all those donations. So I'm doing it now until uh, now until Monday, and that's all gonna to go to um, relief efforts in Texas. I haven't decided which single singular charity I'm gonna to donate to, what families donate to, but I'm gonna make sure this money goes to good use. Thank you kindly, and we all appreciate it down here in Texas. Yes, sir, <clears throat> Jeremiah, go ahead. Just to follow up on this, I know there can be times where it's tough to get on Twitter and to see things, but this has to be almost rewarding to know how much support you're getting from fans and, and to check Venmo, as you said, at, at the end of this interview, I'm sure it'll go up even more and to see the support you're getting and, and what you can do uh, with that support. It's incredible, man. I think that it's not just Indiana fans. It's not just, you know, um, Texas fans. I'm getting fan Like people have been sending me customized messages, like just telling me how much they appreciate it. I've had Sixers fans, Heat fans, uh, you name it, like uh, people all around the world sending me money for this effort, for these efforts. And that's the, that's the beautiful part about social media. It has its ups, it has its downs. The beautiful part is I have a platform to be able to share, you know, some of my efforts and things I want to do. You know, I check my phone every, every 30 seconds. Look now, like just somebody comes through and it's, it, it's wonderful. I've never thought it, never thought it would blow up like this. Um, it's continuing to be, you know, to keep going. And honestly, for me, it, it's very rewarding. So um you know, I just turned a negative into a positive. You know, that's what that's what you, how you have to take it. Bob. Yes, yeah, sorry to change the subject, but I just want to go back to this off 